Good afternoon. We gather today on Pentecost, the feast commemorating the birth of the church conceived at creation on this last day of May, the month-long celebration of Mary, with particular joy in the sure knowledge that soon, now just seven days away, we'll once again celebrate Mass and the sacraments together. For what feels like an eternity, we've missed the visual splendor of this beautiful church, our faith home, the music vibrating through our bodies, the communion with our parish family, but most especially, the Eucharist itself. While public celebrations of the mass, baptisms, and weddings were on hold, while our schools and offices were closed, in these days when we couldn't visit relatives, the sick, or even the dying, our sense of community was tested. Our new gathering places became Zoom or FaceTime, stolen moments at the grocery store, or perhaps walks through the neighborhood where we had actual conversations at a respectful distance, of course, with neighbors who up until recently may have been consigned to the polite hello category. All imperfect substitutes. But trials bear much fruit. Without baseball or soccer, dance or swimming, families have spent more time together. Relationships have been strengthened. And many of us in this period of isolation relied on 
or turn to the sanctuary of prayer, visiting new devotions or revisiting old ones that may have gone dormant. Among them, the Divine Mercy Novena, consecration to the Sacred Heart or to St. Joseph, Stations of the Cross, or a more regular recitation of the Rosary. Today is the final day of an entire month dedicated to Mary. In the liturgical calendar, there are 18 Marian feasts. The Immaculate Conception, Mary's birth, the Annunciation and Assumption, they celebrate her life and are among the best known. Others, they celebrate her intercessory might, Our Lady of Fatima, of Lourdes, of Guadalupe. And the newest Marian feast, the Mother of the Church, was added to the calendar by Pope Francis just two years ago and is set for the first Monday after Pentecost. This year, that's tomorrow, June 1st. Mary is also the patroness of at least 42 countries, among them the United States. So just why does Mary hold such a special place in our faith and why do we commit an entire month to her? Simply put, because of her share in God's salvation plan, because of her role in the life of Christ first as an infant and as he grew into adulthood and her part in the formation of the church, she deserves it. We don't worship Mary, but because of her distinctive role in salvation, we honor her as our mother in the order of grace. Now the church offers us extraordinary teachings of the faith called dogma. Dogmatic teachings are explicitly or implicitly revealed in what Christ himself gave us through sacred scripture or sacred tradition. The church doesn't, in fact, she can't make true what wasn't always true. She simply upholds a truth that has been revealed by God as always true since its original revelation. Now the church professes four dogma related to Mary which explain her special place in God's plan. These are not earned by Mary, but are gifts or privileges given to her by God as necessary for his work of redemption through God as man, Jesus Christ. Let us consider these four briefly in order of their pronouncement as dogma. The first is Mary as mother of God. It was declared at the Council of Ephesus in 431, and it is considered the central privilege of Mary because it surrounds and protects the mystery of the Incarnation, God becoming man in Jesus Christ. The fact that Christ is God is what makes it possible for us to say, Mary is the mother of God. Now when God assumes flesh, he assumes all things of humanity, including being born of a woman. Since Jesus is fully human and fully divine, Mary must be the mother of God. Declaring otherwise would deny the divinity of Jesus. The second Marian dogma, the perpetual virginity of Mary, was declared at the Lateran Council in just 649. Mary's virginity, particularly prior to Christ's birth, is the proof that Christ is the Son of the Heavenly Father. Her ongoing virginity, however, gives constant testimony of her fidelity to that mission. Now many, or maybe some, are disturbed by what appear to be references in the Gospels to brothers and sisters of Jesus. If Jesus had brothers and sisters, they contend, how could Mary have remained a virgin? Now much of this confusion has to do with translation and context. Today, when many priests speak of other ordained, they often refer to them as brother. And it's not uncommon that people who share an experience, perhaps it's members of the Knights of Columbus, or those who share a cultural origin, may refer to each other as brother. 
But the evidence most clearly showing us that Jesus didn't have actual brothers and sisters is found at the foot of the cross. Just before he dies, Jesus entrusts his own mother to the care of one of his best friends. Now, if Jesus actually had brothers and sisters, it would have been scandalous to entrust the care of his mother to anyone but a sibling. The dogma, the third one, of the Immaculate Conception was affirmed in Pius IX's 1854 Apostolic Constitution, Ineffable God. Mary was given the unique privilege of being conceived full of grace without original sin, not for her own sake, but to prepare her for being the mother of God. The fact that she was immaculately conceived was fitting for her vocation as the mother of God because it prepares her as a perfect, sinless vessel to receive the sinless Christ who was born into the world as a man at the Incarnation. Now, the Venerable Bishop Fulton Sheen explains it this way, imagine if you would, imagine that you pre-existed your own mother and somehow you could make her any way you wished. Wouldn't you make her beautiful and virtuous? Well, Jesus not only pre-existed his mother, but he had infinite power. So why wouldn't he have made her immaculately beautiful and given his contempt for sin totally sinless, the perfect vessel to hold him in her womb? Finally, the dogmatic assertion of Mary's assumption was established more recently in Pius XII's 1950 encyclical, Most Bountiful God. Mary's assumption into heaven, body and soul, is confirmation of the promise we receive in Christ's own resurrection from the dead. Mary, as a symbol of the church, represents our share in his resurrection. So Mary's assumption is a sign of what God wishes to accomplish in the lives of all the faithful. As with any saint, we don't pray to Mary in the same way that we pray to God. The saints aren't gods, so they cannot answer our prayers. But we can and we should ask them to pray for us in the same way that we ask relatives or friends to pray for us. The main difference is that Mary and the other saints are in heaven and close to God, so their prayers are powerful. However, because of these four truths, because of Mary's distinct place among the saints and her unique role in the life of Christ and salvation history, she is a most persuasive intercessor with her son. This, after all, is the person to whom Jesus at Cana said, Woman, how does your concern affect me? Yet then he did precisely what she asked. Bring to her your needs. She will ask for you as well. Rosary for Sunday, the Glorious Mysteries. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He shall come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The rosary intentions of Pope Francis 
for relief from the effects of the coronavirus. O oh Mary, you shine continuously on, your, on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the foot of the cross were united with Jesus' suffering and persevered in your faith. You know our needs, and we know that you will provide, so that as at Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. For he took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Christ's resurrection was not just a marvelous event. It drove despair out of the world. It was Christ's way of promising that we too shall live forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Jesus told his disciples that he must leave them for their own good. In time of trouble, when God seems to leave me, it is for the same reason. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. The apostles, convinced of their own hopelessness, learned from the Holy Spirit to hope in Christ. Humility is the mother of perfect hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. We lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. The Church calls Mary the mother of sacred hope. She is the most exalted model of perfect confidence in God. Hail, Holy Queen, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. After this, our exile, show us unto the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead, lead all souls to heaven, especially, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. While there's hope, there's life. Mary was an optimist, even on Calvary, because she saw God's will in everything. Hopeful optimism is a virtue God expects. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. <clears throat> Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this veil with tears. Turn, then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, Show us unto the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, 
that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you recognize that passage from the first chapter of Luke's Gospel, of course, better known as the Annunciation. God's plan for our salvation foretold through the prophets over the centuries, begins. And it begins with a message from God's angel to a young Jewish girl. A question, actually an invitation to play a part in that plan. And her reply is, yes, let it be so. May it be done to me according to your word. With her yes, Mary is given a role like no other. She is to be the Theotokos, a Greek word meaning the God-bearer. She is to bear God within her. 
She is to be the ground on which divinity and humanity will come together. She is to become the very substance of the incarnation that will ultimately save humanity. From that point on, she is about accepting God's will for her life. Mary said yes to God, and really we see her continue to say yes to him throughout her life. You know, sometimes we tend to forget that she was human and that she pondered these things as all were told. Even with the great graces Mary received a visitation from the angel of God, she, couldn't ha she could not have known what that yes was going to involve, that it would jeopardize the very marriage she was about to enter into, that shortly after giving birth in a stable, no less, she, will, she would need to flee to a strange land because the local ruler was trying to kill her child. I think most of us at that point might have been saying, I, I didn't sign up for this, I, I, I can't do this. But she finds the strength and the faith to say again, yes, let it be done to me according to your word. She did have Joseph to help her. And although there's not a lot of detail in scripture, it appears that she lost her husband at a young age and was a widow for much of her life. No doubt she had help from her extended family, but there must have been lonely times for her, again pondering there where this would lead her and her son. No, I don't think Mary had a detailed plan of what God was doing and what, what was about to happen. Just as in our lives, no road map is given, no guarantee. And yet at each point, and no doubt every day, her yes, let it be done to me according to your word. Can you imagine being Mary for a moment and seeing Jesus' ministry explode onto the scene? The secret that she had pondered, that she had protected for, this, for all these years, bursts forth. What Jesus does is likely far more astonishing than even she could have ever imagined. Now you mothers out there, you fess up, they, they never want to let go of their sons in particular. <clears throat> and I know those apron strings, they can become like rope in some circumstances. Now Mary was a mother, she, she had to experience the pain of, of letting go. If she hadn't already, clearly now she realizes Jesus no longer belongs to her in quite that same way. And as his ministry goes on, she must clearly see the danger that is building up all around him. And, there, and, and was there an urge in her heart just to say, please, son, just tone it down a little bit and everything will be okay? But she cannot. She cannot interfere. She resists. And she says, let it be done to me according to your word. Mary watches her son as he is brutally tortured and murdered nailed to a cross, an innocent man. We all look up to God at times and say, what is this? What is going on? But if there was anyone who ever could have looked up to God and said, I just don't understand, it was our mother. Well, Jennifer Hubbard is a writer for those of you who get Magnificat monthly. Her short expert excerpts are, are often in there. Uh, Jennifer's daughter was, was killed by a, a bullet, a victim of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting some years ago in Connecticut. She writes, I, I thought picture-perfect events alone would define a lifetime of joy. But after my little one died, celebrated moments and the annual traditions full of elaborate details became markers merely of time passing. At times, I still question fairness and attempt to understand why. I dwell on the impossibility of the journey I now walk and the weight of this earthly world. The cross I carry becomes far too heavy and my knees buckle. I fall to the ground and the dirt of this world covers my eyes. In my darkness, I call to him. A simple whisper of his name and the weight is lifted. He wipes the dirt from my eyes and gently urges my face to his light. I take his hand and my footing is restored. I am again reminded that my strength lies not in understanding and my joy is not of this world. 
My earthly purpose is not about creating moments to stash away and linger over when I am old. My Lord, my God, has a plan and a purpose far greater than fleeting moments, a plan for the creation of heaven on earth, and my joy lies in fulfilling that purpose. In the face of great pain and sorrow, Mary is our example of faith. Once more, a yes. Once more, let it be done to me according to your word, even though I don't understand. Well, brothers and sisters, Mary's yes is to be our yes. As we mature in our faith, we want to be able to say and mean those words. Our church prays these words in a prayer called the Angelus three times a day, in fact. That's how important they are. But as we see, Mary's yes did not spare her the trials of life, nor will ours. Many of you are going through some heavy trials right now. Many of you will be saying to God, I don't understand. It is a scary thing to turn our life over to him. It is not in our nature. No, our nature is for us to do it our way. Pope Francis states to, to, that to reach that point of surrender takes a humble and docile soul. This is where the devotions to our Blessed Mother become so valuable. She leads us to her son with her example of pure faith and humility and calls us to do the same. And through the work of the Holy Spirit, with the help of the sacraments in the church, we too may arrive at the place of saying, may it, do, may it be done to me according to your word. Finally, our mother would tell us that we strive to truly say yes to God for two main reasons. First, because it is, it is the only place we will ultimately ever find true peace, regardless of our circumstances. In his will, not ours, that strange paradox. And secondly, that even if offered in a shaky, fearful voice, our yes to him is our gift to God. In fact, it is the only gift we can ever give him. Praise and thanksgiving, praise and thanking him is truly right and just, as we say at the Mass, but it is truly right and just. But to offer him our very selves, to offer our consciousness, our will. That is true gift to him. And oh, what he can do with our gifts. Stay close to our mother. Have courage and may God pour out the blessing of his Holy Spirit on you and your families. Amen. Down in adoration falling, this great sacrament we hail. Over ancient forms of worship, new rites of grace prevail. Christ is present when our human senses fail to the everlasting Father and the Son who made us free.
You have given them bread from heaven. Having no goodness within it. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. And may the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised and adored and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Yeah. 